All right, so this is our system of equations. It, it tells us not to use matrices, so that's what we're not going to do, is use matrices. So uh, we've got to choose a variable to eliminate from all three of these. It's going to give us two new equations, and that's going to be a system of two variables. So I don't know. Just looking at this, I have a coefficient of x that's 1. I mean, you have a coefficient of z that's 1 right there, too. So I could eliminate the z's where the x's. All right. By popular demand, we're eliminating the x's first. All right, let's fix this real quick. So that's a sloppy 5, but it'll work. So that <laughs> that's supposed to be a 5 there. So yes, I'm definitely going to eliminate the x's first. Purely out of ease and simpleness, as unsimple as this may be and may seem as we do it. So uh, I'm going to look at these first two equations. All right. So these are the two equations I'm looking at. I'm looking to eliminate the x's so I have a new system, or a new equation, rather. So I'm just going to multiply this equation by 2 so that I have opposite coefficients of x. And that gives me a 2x plus 12y, if I have enough space, 16z equals 12. And that top equation stays the same. All right, now when I add these two together, I've eliminated the x's. I've got 21y plus 21z equals 18. And this equation will be key in solving for, well, solving this system right here. So the, at first here, we, can, we were just looking at these two top equations. Uh, since I want this middle equation simply for the reason that it has a coefficient of x that is 1, I'm going to keep using it, but I'm going to use it for that or with that second equation. So let's write those down here below. All right, so there's our two equations. Let's go ahead and work on these. I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 3 giving me a new equation, negative 3x minus 18y minus 24z equals negative 18. And that bottom equation stays the same. And from here, I'm just going to combine these two equations, that red and the black one, to find a new equation which will have eliminated these x's. So what does that give us? That's not supposed to happen. Negative 21y minus 21z equals negative 18. Sorry, that's a little sloppy, but I need the blue one and the purple one right there. So if I write these together, so I'm just going to write this purple one below. I've got 21y plus 21z equals 18. <clears throat> Uh, and if I eliminate these, which I can choose either Z or Y, right here, I've got a 0 here, a 0 here, and that was a negative 18 on the top there. So I got 0 equals 0, and this came from all three equations. So 0 equals 0 is always true. Therefore, this one just has infinite solutions. to like a negative 8y or something. Yeah, so what would happen is, and that's a really good question here. So if we didn't get 0 equals 0, let's say that we got, because we would have eliminated either the y's or the z's. Maybe you had 4z equals 24. Then you would just solve this equation for z. Um. And then you'd go back and replace it. Uh, you could replace it into either one of these two equations and solve for y. Then you'd have a y and a z to go back to the three original equations with okay. and solve for x. But make sure you check, though, 